Maybe we'll keep this one. I don't know. All right, so what I'll be using today is, of course, the stuff that you can see here. Uh, I have a cardboard box, so when I pull this, um, the crystals off, I put them on the cardboard. These nested pots right here are going to help the cooling process. We want to slow that cooling process down, so this larger pot will have um, some kind of medium in there to help insulate this larger or this uh, smaller pot. And then we'll pull some crystals off of here. And then from there, we'll dump it into that and try to go for pretty much a round two type thing. Uh, you can pick one of these things up for like 15 bucks. They're pretty cheap. Uh, they can be used for a number of things. Uh, these stainless steel uh, tweezer sets, home, um, what do you call them? Harbor Freight, you know, like maybe five, six bucks or something. Pretty easy. Uh, you know, everything you're going to use though, you know, basically it should only be used for this project from here on out. Um, but that's what I got and uh, we'll get to showing you what's going on. Looks like Chicken has decided she wants to join the party today. All right, so where are we at so far? Uh, looks like, yeah, and there's a specimen you can see that I did from last time uh, that I didn't think, well, I mean, it's nice. I like the color and everything, but it just didn't work out quite as well as I think I can do. Um, this is one thing that you will notice if you, you know, start trying to grow crystals like this is you can always feel like you will always feel like you can you can do just a little better but anyway we're gonna let this cool uh heat up to temperature um get all the slag type stuff off the top and then from there uh we'll start pulling crystals once it cools it uh just occurred to me as well that uh, i should tell you you can get this stuff on amazon i bought it for mm, what was it eighty dollars for eight pounds so pretty good good something to start with um but yeah Okay, so this is where all the skill comes in, right? This is where I found that if I use my small tweezers here uh, with the angle, and if I take just a little corner over here, what I can do is I can create some, some really tiny, tiny ripples. And what those ripples will show me is kind of like where things have started to solidify. But you gotta be patient with this and figure out your timing. I mean, there's gonna be a pretty steep learning curve here, you know? Also, I see a lot of videos that are trying to do um, bigger crystals, and I'm going to get to that. I'm going to refine my techniques and everything, but right now, we're just going to start out with getting some small crystals. You don't want this stuff to move. I've noticed that when I was trying to get clever here and move things around, move things around, move things around, the crystals actually came out smooth. There wasn't, there wasn't anything good. Um, I did get a couple good ones out of that, but ultimately, it was a failure because I moved it around too much. Now, as of right now, I can see, oh, I might have one building up here. We'll give it a couple more minutes and then we'll pull it. Uh, one thing I will say though right now is using this table, I already don't like it um, because even so much as, you know, sitting the tweezers down here, you can see that does a little bit of ripple effect and I don't like that. Moved it down on the concrete table was too shaky I noticed that it wasn't gonna work so that's something to learn um, but yep we're having a cool right now I had to reheat it and yeah this has been about I don't know two minutes since it uh, since I turned it off
that screwed it up. Alright. Alright, so kind of sort of a problem here, but not too big of a deal. I'm going to try to salvage something real quick. Um, my battery is about to die, so I'm going to pour this in here. Anything cool came out on that. So that's cool, but we're going to try again. So here's a tragedy. See over in there? That's really cool in there. Um, but that's about it. Not too much over in there. That's kind of neat, but not very defined. It needs to be cooled slower. So we're going to actually get the battery charged up and then we're going to get this, uh, do a redo. So of the ones that I just did though, this one I am going to keep. Turned out pretty neat. It's pretty well defined. It's a nice little single piece. I like the overall size of the cube. I'll show you once it's cool. But yeah, that's a good one. This one you can see right here, pretty good example. Uh, it would have been better. I mean, it's got good definition and everything, but it just doesn't go anywhere. Um, it needed to go longer. It's got cool color though. And then this one right here was okay, but definitely it's going to go back into the pot. Um, I like the small cubes. It's pretty wicked right there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll keep this one. I don't know. 